So you've just received your brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. So to get started, let's go ahead and look at some of the features. First off, I'm just going to tilt this towards the camera here, and you'll notice on the top panel, we have the power button, the volume rocker, the micro SD port. This right here is an infrared sender, and that is your uh, headphone jack. It also handles TTRS, which is basically those headphone or stereo headphones with an integrated microphone um, all in one unit. You'll notice you have your speakers on the uh, left and right. This is your forward facing camera. This is a light sensor. On the bottom here, you've got your 30 pin port. That's a microphone. Right over here in the corner, this is where the S Pen is housed. And finally, on the back here, you've got your rear facing camera with flash. So let's go ahead and put that right there and we'll just hit the power button. Now the Samsung Note starts up fairly quickly here. Uh, you'll notice the uh, opening marquee, and uh, I just want to go ahead and uh, let you know about this video. We're going to try and not use any kind of time-lapse photography uh, or editing tricks so that you actually get the experience of using this device. So we did just upgrade to Jelly Bean on this system. And so that's for your reference as well. So this is the home screen or the lock screen. To unlock the screen, you can simply swipe anywhere and it brings you to the home screen. If you tap the top button, it locks the screen out again. Tap it one more time and you're back in the lock screen. Now if you want to quickly access any one of these programs, all you need to do is simply touch and drag from there and it will open up S Note rather than the home screen. Let's go back to the home screen and start from there. So what you'll notice first off is that you have multiple desktops to choose from. Right now, um, you'll see where my index is. I'm on the fourth desktop. To switch desktops, you just simply swipe or tap, whichever is more convenient for you. And it is infinite and looping, so you don't have to worry about getting stuck on screen one. Each one of these desktops is customizable with both applications as well as widgets. One other thing I want to call your attention to is this bottom panel down here. There are some hotkeys here and some quick information to gain access to. This is your back button. Here is your home button. This right here is so that you can view running applications and switch back and forth between them. This button actually takes a screenshot. On the bottom of your screen, you'll notice that there is an up arrow. If you were to tap that arrow, you have access to a bunch of different programs here that act as uh, applications that you can use simultaneously. So for instance, if I'm working on a math project inside of, let's say, S-Note, I can open up S-Note. Now if I need access to a calculator, I can simply click on calculator and that window will float on top of this window. If I don't want to give all this real estate to S Note, I can simply click over here and now S Note floats on top of my desktop as well and I have access to multiple programs down here. Now every single one of these programs also performs the same function. So for instance, I have access to my gallery, my chat on function, um, and so on. And just to get out of these programs, you simply hit the little X in the upper right hand corner, and they go away. So the last thing I want to bring your attention to is our settings over here. If you simply click on the clock and then tap on settings, you'll have access to the settings where you can customize this tablet. If you're looking to join a Wi-Fi network, simply click on the gray panel right here on Wi-Fi. To add Bluetooth devices, do the same under Bluetooth. Now if you'll scroll down on the left side here, 
all the way down to where you see accounts, you'll notice that I've already signed up for a Google account and a Samsung account. That was done during the initialization of this device. If I would like to add more accounts that include calendar, email, and so on, such as Exchange accounts or Yahoo or other Google accounts, I simply add account from here and then walk through the wizard. To get out of this again, you just hit the back button or hit the home button to go back to the screen. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, so that we can provide more content to you in the future, and we hope you enjoy your note.